What's up guys? Uh, today's project is going to be a messy one and I'm not quite sure what process I'm going to take for this, but let me show you what I'm working with. This is my 2003 Toyota Sequoia. Um, it's got 236,000 miles. I noticed this monstrosity. So this here is the sway bar link. And you can see down there, the bottom of it is not attached to anything because it broke and it somehow punched a hole through the CV boot and ripped it off. So the CV boot started slinging grease everywhere. So I have no idea how long it's been like this. Um, the grease isn't all coated in road debris and stuff like that. So I don't think it's been like that for very long. So I'm just going to put a new boot. I replaced these sway bar links. Um, I think it was back in 2015 and I've got a video for that. Uh, put it up there. I, I bought those replacements from O'Reilly's and so I went and got another. They've got a lifetime warranty. I've already got the axle nut loose here. There's a dust cap that goes on here, cotter pin, a uh, little keeper. And then this is a 35 millimeter nut. So I'm gonna get all this apart and get it out of the way, see if I can get the axle out. I looked in the service manual and of course it says to just disassemble the inner joint and reboot that direction. Um, I have seen some other manufacturers that kind of like this end has this little circlip that this end also has a little circlip in there and that if you use like a, a brass drift or a brass punch um, just so you don't disform any of this steel in here you want to use something that's softer than the steel. Um, but that you can drive these off this way and put the boot on and then realign the splines and get it to go back over that circlip. This one is probably made that way, but I don't want to risk messing this joint up because I don't have a brass drift. So the boot that they sold me is a Dorman Unifit and so on the side of this box, they show this CV boot expander tool. It's a uh, air operated. These, say, these tools are pretty pricey, but basically they stretch the boot over so you can just feed them over the big end and then you collapse the tool and pull the tool out and your boots in place, put some grease in it, put some clamps on. But these tools are pretty pricey, um, 150 on up. If I was doing this every day for a living, it'd totally be worth it because it'd save a ton of time. Um, but this tells me that this boot is made to be stretched. So I've also seen another technique where it uses a cone to go over the end. Um, so I stopped by Harbor Freight and got me a $4 funnel. Now this is larger, much larger than this diameter. And I don't know if I want to stretch the boot that much, but I think I'm going to cut the end of this funnel off where it's just over the biggest part here. All right, so I got this funnel cut down. Um, you can see it's just just a tad bigger than my um, outer joint here. And now let's get the boot. So this uniboot comes with some new stainless clamps, a little package of grease, and the boot itself. And they call this a uniboot because it has this section here where it looks like it's a line so you can cut. So it'll fit multiple different um, sizes. So the process for this um, stretching like this is one, I wanna make sure that it's flexible. Man, this is gonna be tough. But you turn it inside out. So the reason you turn it inside out is because you'll slide it on this way and then once you get the small end over, you can turn it right side out and it'll be in the correct orientation. All right, so I split my gloves, so I'm down to my last pair of gloves and because of COVID, gloves are, rubber gloves are ridiculously priced right now. So I'm just gonna do without. 
So I've got my cone lubed up here. Um, you can see I got my cheat vise here just on the ground. We're gonna give this a shot, see how it goes. All right, I've got some dish soap um, in there. Hopefully that makes it a little slicker. Feed this over. And let's see how this goes. This might actually be easier to do once it's that end is put back in the front diff just because I'm afraid this is going to move. But let's see what happens. Oh my gosh. So, I got it on. Um, I really, really don't like this style of clamp. It's the uh, just stainless steel strap. You have to pull tight and then fold over and then pinch down these little uh, wings over it just to hold it in place. Um, there is a special tool that is made specifically for tightening these. Um, I don't have it. And so I just ended up with some uh, needle nose channel locks and clamped them onto the little wings that you fold over. And then I cut just a, you know, about a half inch long tail out of the end of the clamp and used another pair of um, pliers and pulled as tight as I could and then folded. And then I just took, uh, once I had it kind of folded over and held in place a little bit, I took another pair of thin needle nose and grabbed on and just kind of rolled it to pull more. And then I flattened everything out. So it's on there. Um, It should hold just fine. Um, I did trim the outer lip of this off, the bigger end. And, you know, of course I squirted my grease in there. And so, I think we're good. Thanks. Right, guys so that's it for this one um, I did drive back to O'Reilly's and they gave me a warranty on the sway bar link um, the manager was out to lunch and he was the only one that could approve getting um, covering the CV boot because of the sway bar breakage um, and for the $23 that the CV boot cost I wasn't gonna wait around for him to get back so um, but I did get the part covered as far as this method of installing the CV boot um, it worked it you know it, it's not the ideal method but to prevent replacing the or disassembling the inner joint as well um, this was a way to do it so you want to make sure you uh, lubricate the the cone and the boot really well um, and i found that when you pull the boot towards you it worked a whole lot better so if you have any questions or comments leave them down below um, give me a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and until next time we'll see you later